Hi there, I just want to do a talk and this talk is going to be um, called My Thoughts Create My Reality. I was looking for We Create Our Own Reality stuff on the internet and that came up and it's a very important talk um, because that's, we do create our own reality. You know, the truth of the matter is that the system, people talk, have this idea that some of them believe that governments are the system. Some people believe it's some demonic force. And I've even said that as well. But the deepest truth to it is that the system is actually all of us. Who is it that um, arranges a war when there's a war? Humans. Who is it to take part in a war? Humans. <laughs> Right? Who is it that works in the shops and manages the shops and the cafes and the, the restaurants and the big places, the banks? It's all pretty much humans on planet Earth. As far as we, you know, for the majority is human. And as people, we all, we create our own reality. And that's why I say perceptual um, manipulation is how the system controls everything. Now, wh as I'm saying it there, it sounds like it's a separate force, but it's not really. It's actually us. Separation, I don't mean in ter when I'm saying that a force creating th um, is the system, I don't mean a bunch of people. I mean an energy. That's why I say that you can only change yourself. That's why I also say that human is the devil. Because we create everything. And if you look at all the problems on the planet, who's doing it? Us. It really is crazy the way people don't see it. John Lennon said this. I've watched some of his videos back in the 60s and 70s and, and, he's, and he said that that that's it, the pe power is with the people. That's what the song was about, power to the people. It was about getting them, explaining to them that they have all this power. It's like you've got a bunch of people thinking that, that something else has got power over them, but all, but all it is that's got power over you is your own thoughts and your own imagination. Everything is basically humans on planet Earth. You know what I mean? And, and um, we need to realize this. To change ourselves means we then change our energy and then we change that space. And every space interacts with another space. And if everyone did this, imagine what, how would we change things? But it's, it's all to do with perception. That's why people perceive that the system is, is some separate power. Um, you know, and it's not, it's, it's you. It's, this is why humans frustrate me. People frustrate me. See, we are not human. We are not humans. Human is the label that we were given. What we are is just awareness, infinite awareness, with no form, because everything has to come from nothingness at some stage. That's without science. Science now has this machine. I was look, watching it on yesterday on YouTube, and they have this machine that can go right back to the Big Bang, and what they're saying is everything did come from nothing. So we know that to be true now. But you don't have to be a scientist to understand that, that at some stage there's going to be nothing. I was thinking of this when I was a little kid. But I didn't tell anyone. I remember talking to Alassie at a bus stop and just started speaking to her about it. And, and she said that she was, um, gets, gets depressed thinking about it. But something I've always thought about. That everything, you go back, 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 it all comes from nothing. But what it means is that nothing, that nothing is awareness and it creates its own reality. That's how night turns to day and you've got all these weather patterns. It's just awareness, but awareness can only grow through changes, right? It has to change to, in order to grow. So even a disaster, you realize when you look at it from, from the wide perspective, you realize that a disaster grows you. Doesn't mean I agree with bad things happening, but I, I, I'm trying to understand 
myself for myself I mean lots of lots of bad things happened to me when I was younger I didn't really get along well with my surroundings and my school you know I struggled really with people and that's why I say that human is the devil because that's that's um, what I think I think human we all create our own reality and that we're all to blame for every, everything going on, on the planet and that we that humans is the devil That is what I honestly think. I used to watch this guy, and I, um, I still watch him sometimes, Al Bielik. He was from the Philadelphia Experiment. And he said that some alien groups, according to him, actually don't like humans. And I'm thinking, I, I think he made me understand why. Because they probably think they're stupid because of the fact that we do create our own reality, but people are not aware of it. It's not a case of any system doing anything to people or us. It's to do with our own self. We need to wake up to our own um, selves and understand that we're creating everything in our reality. And that our thoughts, our awareness, our perceptions create everything in our world. And then once you start to change that, you have a different reality. And the nature of reality is the nature of perception. And that, comes, come, and that changes once you start changing your thoughts. Now you change your thoughts, you start looking at things differently. Then your awareness changes, and that's how you change your thoughts. And then you start to have a better reality. But um, I think human in the past was the devil. I even think human currently is the devil, as a whole. But I don't think it has to be that entirely. But remember, human is just your label. What we all actually are is multidimensional beings, infinite beings, infinite awareness on Earth in a body. That's it. Just a body. It's just a, just a vessel to experience. That's it. And that's why ident seeing yourself as your label, as your human, as your, your um, it's not. We're all one. I even see, see that with the with any apparent aliens or UFOs or anything, I see all as oneness, right? And if we see all as one, then we get along better together. You know, so that's why, you know, the, the, the idea of I am black, I am white, it's the same idea as I am human. It's a bit racist towards other beings. <laughs> see yourself as oneness. That's what I see myself as. One with all things. And I know that I'm just a part of this, this oneness awareness and that I'm trying, I'm experiencing a part of it, sorry, but I'm actually all of it. But I'm, I understand now that I was creating my depression. I haven't had depression for four or five years now. And so it started, the awakening showed me to change the way I look at things, right? And that's what I did. And our thoughts do create our reality. You know, you should ponder on that idea and then start to change your reality. Then you realise voting's a waste of time. Because you, it's, it's, you're not changing the energy. <laughs> you can only do that within you. And anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. If you're watching, you're meant to watch it. Everything falls to divine order and divine timing. Thank you for watching. Thank you.